Giving our villain access to a team of diviners is going to pull a lot of narrative weight for us. We can use that team of diviners to explain how the villain is always one step ahead of the party. Our villain is going to have frequent access to spells like legend lore, scrying, see invisibility, locate object, locate person. They can use that to figure out what our player's motivations are, what their weak points are in emotionally, not necessarily physically. Our villain can use these spells to find those connections and maybe hold a hostage or make indirect attacks against the party, shut down their motivations, and otherwise, you know, cause mental and emotional turmoil for these characters. Something I forgot to mention in the first part, and since this is 3.5 and Pathfinder, this is going to apply, we want our main villain to have a high level in use magic device, even if those are cross-class skills. For 5e, I guess you could consider this an arcana skill, but we can give our wealthy villain a lot of scrolls, wands, staves to be able to cast those high level magics even though they are more of a martial class. One of the spells we want to give our main villain access to is clone so that way if there is a confrontation our villain isn't killed outright. We'll also want our villain to use spells that will torment the players even something as simple as sending a direct message to them or illusions or affecting their dreams. Another detail I want to add into this mix is if you are planning on having that anti-magic field active at all times within the throne room, another way to make your lieutenant still able to function is to make their abilities based more in psionics. A lot of the goal for this villain is to hit those PCs indirectly, at least at first. 